Ryan started off my tour of the Zilla facility by showing us how Zilla reptile kits are made from start to finish. These tanks are started by a team of two people who build them. As they go down the line, there's another team of 10 to 15 people that are putting them into packaging, adding the internal accessories that go to every single one of these tanks. Uh, each one is done one style at a time, and as they come down the line, they're put together, boxed up, and palletized into the pallets like this and stored. Then the next type of tank is set up, and those come down the line, and, and again, different internal packaging is packaged up and sealed into small kits like you see when you open up the tanks, and those are done by hand by individual groups of people. From start to finish, it takes about 30 people that handle that, the different pieces to put this together and end up as a final product. I learned that the whole process begins here in glass cutting, with equipment that takes large pieces of glass and etches them down into individual panes of glass. It creates a groove which allows them to have a brake line. The stacks of glass are then brought to tank assembly. So what we've got here is our tank assembly. Aquariums for Zilla and Aquion are built here by teams of two people that build each individual tank size one at a time. There's different size tanks that are built here from 10 gallons all the way up to 125 gallon tanks, all of them assembled, assembled by a team of two people by hand. So this is an inner kit for one of the Zilla kits. So as the, the tanks are made and they come down the line, then they come down and they get set up as a kit, um, and then they get packaged up and sent out. So they're all pre-packaged and ready to go. This is the cage carpet that you buy for your reptiles. It comes in in huge rolls and is actually cut down by hand, treated with an enzyme that allows it to reduce the ammonia so it doesn't smell as much, and then rolled up, put in boxes, and assembled. All of our fluorescent lighting is actually built in house. So we get pieces that are molded by our injection molders, come over here, and then they're put together and assembled individually, and then boxed up, palletized, and ready to be sent out. Here's our injection molding area. A lot of the plastic products that we have, such as everything from water bowls to trim on tanks, is manufactured here and then used to assemble at the rest of the facility. The injection molds are made by heating up small pellets of plastic like this. They're put into a machine and put into a press. Over here we have different molds for different products. They run through the machine. Once they come out, they're inspected for quality and then sent into assembly. Right here is all of our dehydrated foods, our reptile munchies, our turtle chaser treats. They're itemized throughout this entire warehouse and numbered so we know where everything is. And this is different products that go out to pet stores, distributors, things like that. So each one we've got our screen air covers, light fixtures and domes, and that's all along this entire warehouse. So what this is doing is this is getting all of these tanks together, putting them together on a pallet, and then wrapping them for shipment. This is all the staging where the individual orders are going out to pet stores and distributors. As they bring in orders, you'll see a lot of tanks on one. Another order will have maybe four of one type of tank, five of another, a case of decor or food, and all of these get palleted up, put on trucks, and sent all over the country. So right now we're about to head into the Zilla lab. This is where we keep all of our animals. We have animals ranging from the stuff you'd find in a standard pet store to some of the rarest creatures in the world, kept here at Zilla. All of the product that's in here, everything that's being used to house these animals and care for them, is everything is Zilla products. So this shows the wide variety of their uses, from everything from leopard geckos all the way up to some rare monitors. Uh, we've got, up here we've got pink tongue skinks. So what we have here is we have a bearded dragon that's actually set up in one of our bearded dragon kits. It's kept in a 40 gallon premium critter keeper, which our new critter cages actually have this really cool door on top so that you can access without having to pull the whole, the whole hood off. Um, in, the, in the background, we've got a lot of our decor. Our decor. We put decor in a lot of these tanks to test them. How can they handle the heat that this animal needs, making sure that it's not going to affect the paint or the product, and that they'll stand up over time of getting scratched up and beat on. So these are black-faced tree lizards that come from Sri Lanka. They're a really unique species, and this is one of two pairs of these animals that have been, ever been brought into the United States. We're working with these to hopefully be able to produce them in captivity, as well as to be able to look at how the, our lighting affects them. These guys need a lot of UVB and specific heat and humidity requirements, so they make a great animal for us to be able to uh, test different varieties of light and different intensities and make sure that our lights are providing them with the right uh, heating and UVB that they need in order to produce calcium and stay healthy. Up on top, we actually have our dual, dual heat and UVB basking fixture, which really actually takes the place of a mercury vapor. It's a small unit and it provides both heat and UVB. All right, so in this tank, we have one of the coolest animals that we have in this facility, and it's been an awesome opportunity to even work with these in captivity. And here is Lanthanotus borneensis, which is commonly known as the earless, uh, Borneo earless monitor. These guys live in Borneo, and their habitat's being destroyed at an incredible rate to make room for palm oil farms. 
Um, in the last 20 years, there's only been about 100 of them ever found in the wild. And uh, they're working with, we're working in captivity to be able to produce them so that these don't go extinct and they're still around for a long time. Uh, they live in a semi-aquatic environment and they spend most of their time in the water. These guys here eat a lot of worms and things like fish. Um, and they're very secretive. As you can see, she kind of just wants to go hide. Um, so most of the time they're hiding under stuff. We're hoping that this year we'll be able to captively produce babies um, and it'll be potentially one of the first times that's been done in the United States. And this guy right here, this is our male. You can see the broader head, and he's a little bit larger, but pretty, otherwise pretty similar. Just a gorgeous animal. So these guys have really small eyes, and if you, as you can see, their nostrils and their eyes are actually closer to the top of their head. And what that's for is they spend most of their time underwater, but they'll, like an alligator or any crocodilian, they'll stick their nose and their eyes up at the surface of the water. And then as rough as they look, they have this amazing velvety feel. The future of Zilla from here on out is to make products that make keeping animals easier. Everyone goes and gets their first pet, and if they don't have the information and the products they need, sometimes they lose that animal and they lose interest. I want to make sure that these our products grow with them as their hobby does. So every kit and every product that comes out is going to help people to maintain a healthy animal and have it for a long time so they can grow that interest and come back and get the next generation of products.